And the, why are we still on oil? Uh, I think we're on oil because, and, and coal and nuclear power because there has been an active longitudinal, long-term suppression of really advanced sciences and technologies. There are 5,135 patents that have been seized under the National Security Act. And, and I think that this has created both a geopolitical emergency and a geophysical emergency. Uh, whether you believe in global warming or not, you cannot have 7 billion people burning oil and gas and coal indefinitely. Whereas there are advanced technologies dealing with the physics of zero-point energy, so that every home and car would have a generator pulling energy out of the fabric of space-time, and you would never have to burn another drop of oil. Why are we not there? Why are we doing so, that? Because there has been active uh, suppression of this information, as Mr. Sheehan reported. Uh, there are people on my team who have been threatened. Uh, there is a man working on one of these devices for my group. We provided some grant funding. And uh, about two, two or three years ago, a former CIA director, who I don't want to talk about, with a group of people went down there and threatened him and his wife if he didn't stop. So this is a man who's attached to IT&T and does contract work for the CIA. So the part of the technology that deals with energy generation uh, should come out and, and has also been suppressed for reasons mainly of macroeconomic stability because, as you know, part of the national security discussion has always been these would be highly disruptive technologies, to which I say, well, good. You want to be disrupted now or later when we go through a terminus with the environment melting down around us. We have got to make these hard decisions. In the French government, we've had discussions about this. They know that some of these objects are of extraterrestrial origin. They know that some of them are man-made. And the Lockheed Stump Works, and some of my uh, witnesses and sources work in the, so the famous Stump Works. Uh, and I, uh, I will tell you that Ben Rich, who headed up the Lockheed Stump Works, said before he died, and we have a, a witness to this comment, that we, quote, already have the technologies to take ET home. In other words, we already have the Stump Works interstellar capable technologies.